Hi friends, welcome back to Nessa's Nook. Today um, I'm going to try something. I, I've made it like this before, but I've not made it like this before, if that makes any sense. So the other night um, we made up the, I don't remember what it was called, but it had the 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 cheese, um, cheesy potatoes. And there was just about that much left after eating. And I thought to myself, we could probably mix that with something. I'm not for sure what, but we can mix it with something and help make it stretch and help make it a, a meal. So last night we had the Salisbury steak. And I'm on a week of trying, well, at least it's going to be at least one week, if, if not further into two weeks or who knows how long. I've got to try to clean out my freezer. i got to try to rotate some of my um, stuff. And this is just going to help me do all that. So I had like a pint jar of the gravy left over from last night. So what I thought about doing is I'm like, okay, well, what can I use that would taste really good? That would be really quick. I'm just going to go ahead and throw it in the Instapot. I did get a few of you guys um, uh, say that you want to see more meals with the Instapot. Um, you know my heart. I love my Instapots. Um... So doing a meal in an Instapot is nothing for me because, like I said, I, I prefer Instapot meals because I, I just, I've always liked it. So I have just a little bit of water in the bottom of my pan because this is, this is, like I said, this is already full. I think it should be enough water, but I'll know once I mix everything all together. So I'm going to use my three quart Instapot because, like I said, it's just my husband and I, and... You guys know, and if you don't already do this, I highly, highly recommend doing this. Now, this is actually just um, a couple little scoops of hamburger, and it's thawed out. This is already pre-cooked, so instead of stay, spending hours browning hamburger, what I do is when I um, get a whole bunch of hamburger in bulk, I usually just cook a whole bunch of it up, not in this one because this is too small. I use my eight quart Instapot, my eight quart foodie for that. Um, and then we just, we rinse it off and um, put it in the bags and then we just pour this out and then it's just ready to go. And that can save so much time. So like if you do this with like your chicken or, um, you know, any kind of meat that you use, like the hamburger or whatever, it can be such a time saver. And especially if you're using... Um, something like the Instapot or your uh, crock pots or whatever have you. So I'm going to go ahead and dump that in there. And that's all done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take like a, just a can of uh, mixed vegetables and dump that in there. And because everything is always better with some green peppers, I'm just going to throw just a little bit of my freeze-dried green peppers. Now you can use fresh, you can use frozen, you can use dehydrated. I thought because I'm not going to be cooking this very long, my freeze-dried would actually work better than the actual um, dehydrated ones were. And then I throw in some onions because you know this girl loves her onions. Anyways, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the leftover gravy. I'm going to go ahead and pour that in there. Now like I said, I may need um, a little bit more once I get this all stirred. I'm going to throw in a little bit of garlic powder. And that does have some of the mushrooms left over from last night too, by the way. A little bit of pepper because that, uh, that brown gravy still has, because I think I put too much pepper. I put the double amount of pepper, um, when I did that. So that's not, that's not super good. So I'll go ahead and put in a little bit of onion powder. Now this is actually my freeze-dried onion powder. And just a smidge of salt. And I will mix that all up together. And yes, I am going to add a little bit more water. So what this would probably be is about a half a cup of extra water with what was in here and what's actually in this jar. And this way all the 
gravy came off the sides of the jar too. There, that looks a little bit better. I don't like dry food. Um, I, I just don't know why, but also because there is freeze dried or if you were using dehydrated, you're gonna wanna have a little bit extra water in there um, because that's gonna absorb um, the, uh, the, it's gotta reconstitute. So that's looking pretty good like this. I'll show you here, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do is I don't want a lot of cheese on there. There's not really a lot of cheese left in this bag. This cheese is back on sale this week at Kroger's. <laughs> Um, with a sale, it's I believe it's $5.99 for that 32 ounce bag. I use that all the time for my salads. So I have just a little bit of cheese right there. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the leftover potatoes. So this is going to be kind of like a leftover um, shepherd's pie. And kind of, it's not going to be even across obviously because this, these are still cold. Just pull this out of the refrigerator. But the mixed vegetables does have some potatoes in it too. And then this way, you're not only using things out of the freezer and the, the pantry, you're also going ahead and um, using your leftovers. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this on. And I put this on for five minutes. Now what's gonna happen is the pin's gonna come up it's going to come to pressure, and then um, most likely, well, I could probably let it wait till my husband, it's 5.55 right now, um, until he comes home. This, so this will actually actually do a, um, a natural release, and I'll bring you back once this is actually done up. All right, he's on his way home, so I'm going to go ahead and do a manual release which that's already done. Always when you're using an Instapot or a boiling thing, open the lid away from you. So any and all steam does not turn around and bite you <laughs> because that can hurt really bad. All right, show you what that's looking like here. Let me move it up a little bit and move it down. So this is what it looks like. It looks like some of the Potatoes got sunk down in there. Well, that might be kind of a, it's more of a soup, honestly. It might be messed up. <laughs> Let me change this to like, um, it's not, uh, maybe I shouldn't have added that extra water. That's kind of really weird. Anyways, I guess it's going to be kind of like a shepherd pie soup. Let me get, um. Uh, some bowls here. That's all right. It's going to taste the same, right? You know? So that's just really weird that that make sure I get all the stuff off the bottom. I mean, it's going to be fine. You know, all that's going to be, it would have been all mixed together. I'm just really shocked at how that got all liquidy like that. But, you know, I mean, it's not definitely, <laughs> you know, you guys are along for rides for good and bad, you know. This tur didn't turn out exactly like I wanted it to, but I think, you know, I mean, it's just obviously a little bit more liquidy. I don't think I should have used that last one, but like I said, it's gonna be fine. And I went to help go ahead and shut that off. And um, like I've told you guys before, um, some of the stuff that I do, obviously, is uh, some of the stuff I just wing it. I make it myself. And sometimes it turns out, sometimes it don't. I mean, this is obviously, like I said, this is very liquidy. There's a little bit left over if anybody wants just a little bit left over. And... Um, We'll just eat it like this as a <laughs> soup instead of on a plate. But, you know, either way, it's going to go down our bellies just fine. It's going to be hearty. It's going to fill us up. So it should be all good. So sorry about the mess up on this. Um, but I think it's going to be fine. And uh, we'll eat that for dinner. So have a very blessed and wonderful day. Thanks for stopping by.